SoCan here talking with Lido Pimienta and also with Cheryl Link of Pure Music. Lido, of course, is the winner of the Hey Good Hardy Award uh, for 2021. And Cheryl Link works at Pure Music, which is the winner of the Publisher of the Year Award. So I want to get your reactions. So c- congratulations to both of you first. And I want to get a reaction from Lido first and then from Cheryl. Please let us know how you feel about the award. Thank you so much. It's so exciting. Very motivating, um, especially for me who, you know, I write all this music and and I don't necessarily sing in English or in French. So that it's it it adds uh, more significance to to this award and this recognition. I am so excited. We are so excited when we heard the news. um, It was very exciting for us because this is we are actually the second time winner. and it just really speaks to what our roster is doing because that's why we're great publishers is because of our roster and what they're doing and they make us look amazing. And thank you, SoCan, uh, yes, for getting the money to our writers and making sure that they are getting money in their pockets. Since we have you here together, it would be interesting, I think, for uh, uh, SoCan members to understand how a songwriter and a music publisher work together. I'm just wondering for the two of you, what does that look like on a daily basis or what did that look like throughout 2020 for you to be working together? Well, with Lido, it's quite different than every songwriter we work with is actually quite different and their needs are different. Uh, We work quite closely with her management team. We let Lido do what she does best, is be creative. Um, She continues to write. She's continuing to writing, collaborating. And we work with her manager, like I said, John Bartlett, regularly. We have regular updates with him. We speak to him. We email with him. Uh, We are glued to her socials to make sure we are not missing anything as well. As anyone who knows Lido, she is very active on socials. And you can see her creativity through there, not just sonically but visually um and i think it's that's the best way to summarize how we've been working with her we also you know if she has any needs we're always here we're always happy to help pick up the phone email um you know we're there I, i think for me i have an abundance of ideas it's wonderful to have people that are there to support those ideas so i think that in my case, that's the best the best way to describe work with peer. Not only the office in in Canada, but also like the office in in Miami and the office in LA, and in South America. You know the way that they are all working like a tree that have many branches. It makes me um, comfortable because I know that I have many ideas that go across borders. So, yeah, working with peer on a regular basis, it, it basically just, it just means that I can come up with an idea and then let them know, and they will make sure that that um, creation goes to the right channel so that it gets the most views and the most listens and that I get properly compensated for it. So it's wonderful. Cheryl, were there any um, sinks or other uh, sort of opportunities for exposure in 2020 that you managed to provide for Lido specifically? I mean, we've had some great ones come up recently, I think, for Lido. There was a commercial, and I wish I had prepared this ahead of time to give you the links to it. Um, Do you remember the brand? It was a designer brand. Chloe. Chloe, that's right. So it was Chloe. Spotify US as well did a big push on Lido. Um... So that was another one. We recently confirmed there is a sync that is going to be coming out of Spain for her that one of our team members there had been pushing for a while, her album. Uh, that It's a TV show that's going to be, I think it was a Netflix TV show. I'd have to double check that one. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of things that have come up. And, you know, there's a lot of music supervisors that are out there that are just fans and always just wanting to be, you know, we have to poke them gently Um, not just in Canada, but internationally. And they all come back, you know, and they've all seen Lido and they can keep their tabs on her as well. We just did a a promo campaign for for Deezer. Yeah, they asked to do, they asked me to do a cover of an 80s song and I I cover the Orinoco Flow by Enya. It is not out yet, but it will be out very soon. I did a a marimba version of the song I'm very excited about. I'm going to do uh, the Pride campaign for Spotify as well. So um, I just started working on that project too. So 
when I listen to to Miss Colombia, the voice is so front and so center and so unique. That's like it, it seems almost like the songs I'm thinking, especially of Esoke Tuhasis and Nada, are really songs that showcase your voice. Um, what kind of were you writing those kinds of songs throughout uh, the pandemic thus far? I mean, how has that affected your songwriting, and is it the same? Well, you know, the songs in Miss Colombia I've been writing since 2015, um, but I, I am constantly in creation all the time, and, and songs come to me, you know, when I'm with my family or when I'm watching the news, and I think in the pandemic, I, I have 50 new songs um, that I haven't been able to record because I have all these other songs that I have to do, but... Um, I've written these 15 songs since the pandemic started and it's all from the point of view of, of seeing the world through the eyes of, of children and, and that sense of wonder and that sense of hope, you know? So um, I'm very excited to work uh, uh, on those songs because I feel like with how the world is right now and with all that, dark and somber energy that people like me, and especially when we have such a voice, or I, I am very aware of the voice that I, that I possess, I feel like it's, it's, it's my time to offer, you know, light and, and, and spirit. <laughs> 